Michael Earl, 48, is a member of the Earl crime family. The family worked directly for the well-established Heighton firm. Michael helped track down potential targets who crossed the Heighton firm in return for a payment in drugs. The targets had robbed a stash house used by the Heighton firm. One million pounds worth of cocaine was stolen from them. Michael Earl was also involved at the top of the chain with links dotted all over the country. He oversaw huge operations with his relatives Stephen and Terence Earl. A laboratory specializing in amphetamine production was under the family's watch up in Scotland. The lab turned over millions annually. It was just a small part of the huge movement that saw county line systems being created everywhere. The constant cash flow made them go sloppy with power. The Earls spoke about pretty much everything they did on the EncroChat system. Messages with the commanders of the Heighton firm was intercepted. Some of these messages consisted of plots to murder rivals from Salford. Michael suggested he could source grenades and guns for the Heighton firm's drug war. It wasn't unusual for the Heighton to mess around with explosives. An old well-known incident relating to the firm involved a grenade being left outside the former Liverpool manager's Kenny Dalglish home in the early 2000s. The grenade scare tactic was later found to be a matter of mistaken identity that led back to those at the top of the Heighton firm. Senior members of the Heighton firm, including those from the Earl crime family, have received long prison sentences. The man at the top, Vincent Coggins, was jailed for 28 years. His brother Francis remains on the run. Edward Jarvis received 25 years. Paul Woodford received 24 and a half years. Terence Searle, 48, was jailed for 16 and a half years back in 2023. Stephen Earle, 52, was arrested in Portugal where he had fled in the hope of evading capture. He was extradited back to the UK January 2024. On August 2, 2024, Stephen was sent down for 11 years and 4 months. In May 2024, Michael Earl was sentenced to serve 11 years. The sentence was appealed and a new term of 9 years was handed down to him following the judge's ruling that it was manifestly excessive. It's unclear why the sentence is so low for Michael considering he was in charge of weapons transport and logistical aspects. He turned over a fortune whilst helping to wage war on the streets of Northwest England and beyond. Hitmen and enforcers tied to the Heighton have been sent down over the years. They include Thomas Cashman, who was sentenced to life with a minimum term of 42 years. The Heighton firm and their associates was one of the most dangerous organizations to ever come out of Merseyside. Follow Original Blaze Daily for more.